Here we go. 2025 Zoom Events product releases. We hope that these feature updates and releases that are coming out this year help improve your productivity as an event host and give you even more tools to engage your audience. As always, these uh, monthly videos do not contain a comprehensive list of updates. Please refer to the release notes at support.zoom.com. Let's get going. January is off to a great start with three big features right off the bat that can make a big impact for your year. And there's a few other things that I think will make, uh, make your life a little bit better this year. First up, we are so proud to announce the release of Video CMS powered by Zoom events. Video CMS allows you to create video channels full of curated content for your audiences. We're working hard to provide our customers with a straightforward path to publishing, managing, and measuring the impact of their on-demand video content. Stay tuned, we'll be talking a lot about this feature this year with a lot of stuff uh, coming your way. For a full walkthrough, head over to our Hub or YouTube channel and check out Introducing Video CMS. Drum roll, please. Page Builder has now been expanded to multi-session and recurring session events. Page Builder is a phenomenal value add for this events platform and allows you to build custom, beautiful landing pages for your events. Now for multi-session events, you can drag and drop sessions, exhibitors, or speaker modules into any available content block and customize which parts of those modules you want to view. Since we're talking about Page Builder, we wanted to give you just a few tips and tricks to help you start building great looking event pages, especially if you've never tried out this feature. First, head over to the branding section for either your hub or your individual event and build your color palette. It is always easier to start when you have all of the right colors in front of you. Then head over to Page Builder and customize the layout of your page to meet the needs of your event. Some customers like to delete everything and start completely from scratch, that's up to you. Overall, these pages tend to have a much more scrollable design with a lot of uh, fun content that you can display. Third, be sure to take advantage of some embedded elements like videos or maps to create interaction on the page. And as you find things that work, save them for next time with blocks. Finally, lean on AI Companion. Anywhere you can see text or images, you can use AI Companion to help you along the way. This entire demo that you're viewing was built out with AI Companion, providing session descriptions, session titles, and even images. One more much requested feature is now live. Simulive Go Live. You can now combine pre recorded content with a live webinar to create unique and engaging sessions. You simply schedule the Simulive webinar as usual and then select Transition to Live. Your hosts and panelists can join and stay backstage as the video plays, and there's a nice little uh, countdown up there. You could always start early too if you want to. And once the video has concluded, the webinar becomes fully live with all of the interaction that we've come to expect from webinar, even breakout rooms. For a lot of you, this could be a complete game changer for your webinar sessions, and I encourage you to check it out. Just a few more features to go this month. We all know how valuable attendee feedback can be. Now, post-session surveys pop up in your attendees' browsers for any session that they join in Zoom events, even multi-session events. This helps you gather immediate and fresh feedback from your attendees more readily. Super simple setup, just click it on and your attendees who attend for more than just a few minutes will receive this pop-up in their browser once they leave or when the session has concluded. Super simple feature here that will help out event organizers a ton. Lobby preview is available now. This provides a quick way to view and interact with your lobby prior to publishing your event. This is available for single and recurring sessions and just gives you a great way to see if you've set everything up exactly the way you want. This, combined with registration preview, allows you as the event organizer to feel extremely confident that your event is set up exactly the way that you want it to be. You can walk through every part of the experience prior to publishing and make sure that your attendees are getting what you want them to get. Finally, in this release, we've included two new controls for organizers to control SEO for their hub pages. Specifically, we have provided controls for you to discourage uh, web crawlers, Google or Yahoo from indexing and ultimately surfacing your hub pages in organic search results. No index and no follow options are available now. And this is just the start of uh, SEO controls that we'll be bringing to, to you uh, for all of your pages on Zoom events. More features and functionality coming later this year. 
Thank you for your attention. As always, be sure to check out our release notes at support.zoom.com. And thank you for choosing Zoom events.